Hey, my creators, I promised you a follow-up video showing you how to take this image that you see on screen that we created in Canva. We are now going to transfer it and upload it to Printify so we can see what it looks like on our V-neck t-shirt. Are you ready? Let's go. All right, my creators, we're on canva.com and what you're seeing is the image that we created. We're going to download this image and then we're going to upload it into Printify. So now we just click on the share button and we are going to choose download right here. And we want it to be a transparent background and we only want page one. And this dial right here, you can move this up and down the size. We're going to move it to three because we want to make sure that we have a high resolution file. So when we go to Printify, it may say 240, it may say the DPI is 250, and it may say it's 300. It actually, I've learned, depends on the image itself. So if you have a lot of graphics on here, it takes more to make the image larger. So sometimes the file is too big, but when we get to Printify, as long as it shows us that the resolution is okay and that it's a high resolution and it doesn't say that it's too low uh, of a resolution, then we are good to go. All right, my creators, we're over on printify.com. And as you can see, I am getting ready to upload our file that we just downloaded from Canva. So I'm gonna click on the upload button, my device, and I'm gonna upload the file and we're gonna see if the resolution is high enough and we'll be good to go. And you can see that the image size is too large. So we're gonna have to go back into Canva Here's a message right up here at the top. So we're going to go back into Canva and we're going to reduce that size. I think we moved the, um, the size over to three. We're going to reduce it to maybe two or 2.5 and see if that gives us a smaller image so that it uh, can upload to Printify easily. So let's hop back over to Canva. So we're back on Canva. So let's click on the share button. We are going to download it again. We're gonna move this dial from three, let's go to 2.5 and let's see what happens. All right, let's, let's do this. My creators, I had to go back to Canva and change the size all the way down to 1.5 in order to get it to uh, upload. And I think the reason for that I'm not a techie person. I'm a very creative person on the desktop. But I think the reason for that is because um, when we, if you remember, when we downloaded this file in MidJourney, we upscaled it. So I think because we upscaled it, it was already a high resolution file. So I'm thinking that sometimes in mid-journey, you may not have to upscale the file if you're going to uh, upscale it in Canva. I've done it sometimes and it worked, but again, I think it depends on the original um, graphic. So nevertheless, we do have our file here and I want to, it looks beautiful. I want to change the color. So I'm going to select the variant and let's change it to black. Yeah, I really like that. Now, if we click on preview, it's going to show us the front of the t-shirt. Oh, I love that. Don't you love that? Oh, you know what though? If we're gonna use black, see, these are some things that you have to think about when you're designing. If we're gonna use black, we're gonna have to change this text color from black to gold or white or I think gold. So let's let's go over to Canva and change this text to white and then we're going to upload it again. Okay, so on Canva, let's you know what instead of changing this design, 
we are going to just duplicate the page by clicking right here. That way, if you decide that you want to put one on a white t-shirt, you still have your original design. Okay. So let's scroll down to the second one and let's change this text color to gold. I don't know which goal. I think that one. All right, so I'm just gonna download this one now. We're gonna go to share. We are going to click on download. We're gonna leave it at 1.5. Remember I told you I had to bring it all the way down to 1.5. We're gonna select the page side, the, the page, and we want page two, and we want it to be a transparent background. We're going to um, now just download this page. Okay, my creator, so back over on Printify. Now, remember we just changed the text for the black shirt so that it would show up in gold. So right here, if you click on white, it shows you the design and it looks great on white. So we don't want to change that. When we click here, the black, again, we want a specific design. So what we can do is just click right here where it says make a specific design for black, right? So when we make a specific design for black, now we are going to go here on the shirt itself. We're going to delete this off of the black and we are going to upload, actually, yeah, we're going to upload and we're going to upload the image that we just downloaded in Canva with the gold text. All right, so it's uploading with no problems. And we should see it in a moment. Come on, Printify, do your thing. All right, there we go. It looks beautiful. So now when we click on the white, it should still be the original file. Yep, so the white is the original file and the black has a specific file. All right, so now let me click on preview. And when we look at the shirt, it will look totally different. I love this. Do you guys like it? Let me know in the comments what you think about this design. I will have this image, not the whole image, but the lady herself. I will have this image on my site if you'd like to purchase it. I think my images are like a dollar and I don't know, 50 cents or something very cheap. Um, and it is a design that I created, so, or an image that I created, so you are free to purchase it. So creators, I want to show you something else. So um, some people like to advertise, which is really great on social media. So you can advertise on Instagram or Facebook or, you know, wherever you choose to, um, in, uh, to showcase your products. So I'm here on Canva and I'm going to create a design and let's pretend that we are going to put this on our social media page. So I'm going to choose a custom size and I'm going to choose uh, 1080. No, let's do 19. Let's see. I think it's 1080 by 1920 is the size of a um, of an Instagram story or an Instagram um, reel. So let's choose an Instagram story. So although we put in the width and the height in pixels, it's also here because Canva is very smart. So it knows when you put in these uh, different dimensions, you are looking for probably one of these things. You can also make a phone wallpaper. So let's just click on Instagram story and we are going to create our story. Okay, so here we are. Now, what we can do, we can click on design. So there are different ways to do this. You can click on design and you can find some already uh, pre-made designs. And my computer is going very slow. I think I have a lot of things on here. 
Um, so these are some images of some people. I'm trying to find an African-American woman, but I don't have to. We can also just use one where it's just a t-shirt. So let me see if we find something that we like. I'm scrolling down. Let's let's choose this one. And I'm going to tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to remove this lady off of here if it allows me. It probably will allow me to take her off of here. Yes. So I'm going to click on her and I'm going to click the trash can. And now what I'm going to do, I'm going to go over to, let's see, uh, photos, and I'm going to look for black t-shirt mock-up. And we're going to see what comes up. And I want something uh, without a background like these but I wanted a V-neck. I don't know if they'll have a V-neck in here, but that's okay. We'll just use a T-shirt. So here's our T-shirt. I'm going to make it larger. And now what we're going to do, the design that we created originally, we are going to upload that design in back into Canva so that we can put it on this t-shirt. Now I ran into a problem and the problem is that the image that we downloaded, remember we downloaded it as a high resolution file. And so when we try to upload it back into Canva as an image, it's too large. So it won't let me upload that file. So remember creators, this is all part of being a creator and a business owner. If you're going to have a print on demand shop, you need to know all the little ins and outs. Okay. So what we're going to have to do is go back to that design and download it as a smaller image. Okay. Because it's too big. So let's go back to the original design. Okay. So we're back on the original design. I'm going to share and I'm going to download and um, we're going to take this all the way down to 0.5 and we are going to only choose page one and we're going to do a transparent design because remember it can be a lower quality because this is not for print. This is only for uh, being shown on your social media. So it doesn't take as as much to show it. So let's download this now and then try to upload this again into Canva onto our social media uh, design. So Canva did let me upload that design. And so I'm clicking on it now. Here it is. And I'm going to, oh, you know what, guys? <laughs> I downloaded the wrong one. Duh, here we go. So we're going to go back and I'm just going to download the, the correct file. This is the one with the black. So let me go back and get the other file. All right, so I have uploaded the one with the gold font. So I'm just going to drag it over to replace the one in black. So I'm going to grab the edges here just to make it a little smaller to fit on the t-shirt so now if you want you could change the this color from beige to whatever you want um let's see if we make it this green that stands out you can make it gold I like that. So you can do it however you want. If you're not satisfied with this t-shirt, you can always um, just create another one. You don't have to keep this one. In fact, when I click on the page, let me right click and duplicate the page. So now we have a second page and I'm going to remove this. And what I'm going to do I am going to go over to my um, my folders. I have some AI images that I created 
that are um, mock-ups, women and men in t-shirts and different apparels. So let me find those. All right, so I want one that kind of stands out. Let me choose her. And what I want to do, I don't know if I want to remove the background on her. Let's see. I'm going to remove the background so that the sail in the back stands out more. So Canva is removing the background. Okay, so the background has been removed. I'm going to make her larger like that. And I'm going to go to position and layers. And I want to move the design on top of the lady. Okay, now sh her shoulders are turned a little. So I'm going to just kind of turn the design a little bit. There we go. Beautiful. I think I like that better, but you could have both. Right? So now you've got your um, social media, your story for Instagram. This will work for a reel as well. You can make these, you can animate these if you want. So if I click on her and I click animate and I could choose whatever you want. Let's choose stump. Uh-oh, I think I clicked on the word sale. That's fine too. So now let's click on the image and let's animate the image and let's, I like this ink. This is new, kind of a new feature with Canva. And yeah, it's nice. Okay, let's, let's look at it up close and see um, what happens. Let's look at the actual um, design, the real. Okay, so let's just click on the play button right here and see what we get. Oh, that looks great. So that's the first one. And then that's the second one. Oh, yeah. Did you see how that ink effect worked on the t-shirt? I mean, on the sweatshirt? Let's do it again. Now watch the second one, watch the image and how it flows in. See, I like that. That's called the ink effect and that's in animate. That turned out great guys. Hey, my creators, don't forget to sign up for my Facebook group on here. I add a lot of uh, tips and tricks that are too short for video, but they're things that you would probably love. I also am starting to put AI prompts in here for different images that you might want to create yourself in mid journey and in Canva's dream lab as well. So I also will be adding some free uh, images in Google links that you can download and use in your own design. So go ahead and sign up. All right, my creators, I hope that you got something valuable from this video. If you did, please like, share and subscribe and leave me comments. I do answer all of your comments. But regarding comments, creators, make sure when you comment, if you want to comment to me, create an original comment. Don't reply to someone else's comment because if you do, I won't see that comment right away. If you make an original comment to me, I will see that comment and I will respond to you as soon as I possibly can. So I want you to have a wonderful day and I want you to remember the more we create, the less we hate. And I will see you in the next video.